We are back. It does feel weird not filming for two weeks and just starting to film again. And it does feel weird not posting last week, but gonna post again this week. But besides the point, I'm back and I got a good review for you guys today. Today we will be reviewing the Amaran ALMX Aperture Light. We're gonna see if it lives up to its hype. Let's get into it. So, this is the box. It's really soft and it's really sleek. A nice design for a box or like packaging. Let's open this up. Very slowly. So as you open up, you are greeted with this little pouch to put your light and all your extra diffusers. Ooh, all your extra diffusers inside. Pretty cool. Don't think I'll be using it because I'll just be putting this little light straight into my camera bag. After you take off that pouch, you are greeted with a Ziploc bag. This has Velcro stickers inside, so you are able to place your lights onto it and stick it wherever you want for whatever purpose you need it for. Then you have a second diffuser that I think it's more opaque than the one I have on the light right now. And you have a third diffuser. Note that don't throw this out. I had no clue this was a diffuser and I thought it was just part of like, I don't even know, I don't even know. I just didn't think it was a diffuser so I threw it out and I checked the manual and realized that it's actually a diffuser. So good thing I didn't actually throw it out. I took it out of my garbage. Then you have the little, you know, manuals. Don't need that. You got your wire to plug in to charge your nice, beautiful light and two elastics. And then the beautiful, portable, small LED light. This thing, it's insane how good it is. It's crazy, like it's literally a powerhouse. Don't be fooled by how small it is because this thing is really strong. Like it's crazy. Oh, and before I forget, this little attachment to attach the light onto your camera. I had no clue this came with it, and I was really not down to buy one of these to attach to my camera, because I didn't think it came with it. Then I opened the box and I realized it comes with it, so I'm really happy that this came with it. I got scared that it didn't. And that's it for the box. That's everything inside the box. So now let's talk about the light. Okay, so now for the light itself. This light is super, super small, very, very portable. It's literally half of the height of my iPhone 11. So this could fit in your pocket and you won't even notice. It feels really good when you hold it. It's a, It feels really sleek and really clean. I, I guess that's a word or I guess that's a saying. But the only thing is, is that it's heavier than the iPhone 11. It's pretty heavy. It's made out of aluminum all the way around. It's compact of 128 LEDs. That's a lot. And because it's compact with that many LEDs, it's gonna shoot out a ton of lights. And that's what it does. So on the top of the lights, you have all your controls. You have the worm control, the cold control, the CCT, which means I think color, temperature, and then you have dim. So you get this switch between those two. And then you have the battery life. That doesn't show the percentage, it shows how much battery there is left by four little dots. Then you have booster mode, and then you have your on and off. So, so now let's go into that. Okay, so now for the controls. Really, really fast. CCT is gonna be controlling your temperature. So right now it's orange, a warm, nice color. Let's go turn it to blue. So it's gonna turn blue. So now it's blue, nice cold temperature. So that's CCT, color temperature. Dim is where you're gonna control the intensity of the light. Right now it's at max and you could bring it lower to barely anything. We're gonna turn off the lights and we're gonna test out boost mode. So this is max and this is boost mode. Booster mode shoots out 30% more light than what is shining right now. So let's test it on. That's high, it's blinding. Booster mode also stays on for 60 seconds. So six, it does 60 second intervals. So after 60 seconds, you have to reset it. 
that spoofs the mode. Pretty cool. Favorite mode so far. So there's only one charging input and it's going to be on the side where it has Aperture, their name. So charging takes up to like half an hour to 45 minutes from my experience, which is pretty fast for a thing like this to be charged. Another cool feature that Aperture made was the screws. So the screws on the light are actually magnetized. So when you take your diffuser and you plop it onto your light, it will stick and it will stay. Pretty cool feature. So now the big question, is this light really worth buying? Well, that's completely up to you guys. If you guys need a light like this, then you could spend the amount of money. I find this light to be pretty pricey. It's $200 Canadian plus tax, which is a lot for a small little thing like this. I think it should be a bit lower, like 175 plus tax, but it's not. It's 200 plus tax. So it's really, it's really up to you guys if you guys are willing to spend that much money on a small little light. Little light. This is really great for background light or even a studio light or even a flashlight since it lasts so long. But it's entirely up to you and if you need it. And that is it for me today guys. That was my review on the Amaran ALMX Aperture Light. I do believe that this light lives up to the hype and it's a very very strong powerful light. If you guys enjoyed this video leave a like down below. I appreciate the likes, the likes also show YouTube that you guys like my content so it will push my content, out, my content out more. While you're down there, comment and subscribe for more content like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!